So obviously I was talking to you before about, you know, Joe Rogan opening his new comedy club and specifically um getting inspiration behind it based on the time that he had that he spent with um Dave Chappelle where he hosts these amazing, you know, little outdoor comedy things where everyone gets I think the outdoor things everyone gets tested. And then the indoor, no, the other things I don't think everyone gets to, I think the comedians do, but regardless, he mentioned that he wanted to open up a club and adopt, um, uh, you know, rapid testing in order to have people packed indoors and for it to feel like a normal event. And I think I've been wondering myself, especially with, you know, these, you know, the announcement of the vaccine and the lack of real updates and movement concerning event space and, you know, hospitality industry, there needs to be some sort of plan in place experiment trial to have these sort of like quick turnaround test be implemented at a venue um to see if that can work in terms of opening up these places because they can't operate limited capacity it doesn't make any sense just turning on the lights and keeping it you know um, operational for the night is probably going to cost more than having half the people in there um and you can't really do it social distancing because it's just not going to work so the only way to do it is to implement rapid testing and have people come in you know take a test um if they're negative they're able to come in and guess who did it Primavera Sound, one of my favorite festivals and a festival I've been to, what, two, three times now? One of the best festivals in Europe, um, easily. Again, one of the maybe uh, worthwhile festivals to go to in terms of cost for ticket and what you see, right? Everything from rap to indie to electronic music, like they cover the whole premise, the whole spectrum of it genres out there, actually. So this is from Enemy. It says Primavera Sound holds successful trial for live music events without social distancing. Absolutely incredible. And of course, you've got a picture here of the event itself. It's a Primavera Sound. The festival has held a successful trial held last weekend investigating the possibility of holding live music events without social distancing. The event dubbed Primavera Cov, nicely put there, was organized by the Primavera Sound alongside the hospital Germans Trias in Barcelona and the Fight AIDS Infectious Disease Foundation. At the event on Saturday, December 12th, 1,042 people attended a concert with local DJs at the 1,600 capacity um, venue so a little bit less than what they can actually uh, pack in there but again for our first event I'm all good for it and at the event a rapid testing was employed before entry was granted with every attendee needing to return a negative test which was available within 15 minutes amazing so something similar to that you'd see like you know if you'd get a um, what's that thing called? You get an STD test. You can get those places that you can get turn, 24 hour turnaround, all those sort of things. So that's really cool to see because that's the only way that I envisioned envisage envision yeah a uh, venue to reopen, especially a nightclub or a bar or you know a festival, you know, and this kind of scale. Um, and obviously it's, it's been aided with the developments with the vaccine, but I think sans vaccine, the only way to get people packed into any sort of venue in a safe way would, would be to implement rapid testing. Now, of course, the danger would be if it's a festival and it's more than a day and people are coming in and out, you have to test people every single day. So that would be an issue. Maybe it's going to cost some money. Um, again, you can offset the price of the punters. I think there'd be more than enough people willing to pay 30 quid more whatever, or one off fee every time you come to the actual part, to come to the actual event in order to get a test or you know allow people to maybe tick a box so they can get their own sanctioned test from a list of operators where regardless i think it's still a really good option so a quote here says um that was precisely the objective of this study to validate these kinds of tests as an extremely useful tool to be able to carry out any type of event whether musical or not without social distancing said the team behind prima Kov. and you've got a video here of the nurses i guess um or whoever's um, administering the test in a sort of tent where people are guessing coming in and out which is great too because you don't you don't get any false you know um well no you don't get any invalid um test results because if you do it at home it can kind of get a bit difficult if you don't do it the right way so you've got somebody actually administering the test to you it's um themselves there which is awesome the new trial from primavera is one of a handful of new techniques being touted to enable return to traditional live music this week it was revealed that legendary london club 100 um the 100 club sorry will pilot a new ventilation system which is another great development next month that aims to wipe out 99 percent um um, of the dangerous airborne pathogens such as the coronavirus within buildings developed by the British team of engineers, scientists and medical experts the PRS, the pathogen reduction system has been designed to fit into existing systems awesome when it works uh, to scrub out the, the air by using a high intensity UVC oh, so I guess Trump was right mate. remember when he said he, you should uh, insert UVC UV rays to people's bodies he was onto something <laughs> the UV light uh, to safely inactive 99.9% .9 of the uh, dangerous airborne pathogens such as COVID-19, uh, MSRA, 
M M R S A, sorry, measles, TB, and other common flu viruses. Let's pause this it's annoying these auto videos. Last week, the president of Live Nation, Joe Birch, told said that they felt very good about the prospects of additional live music returning next summer. Awesome. Um, especially in the states, they don't really give a shit in it. Um, that would make more sense. Although Glastonbury said that they're a long way off from being able to confirm the twenty one uh, uh, twenty twenty one edition will go ahead after cancelling its twenty twenty edition. Previous sound plans to return to Barcelona next June. With lineup including the Strokes, Tame Impala, Gorillas, FK, Twigs, and Tired and Creator. So, looking forward to it, man. I think it'll be difficult for Gas and especially in the UK, considering what's going on now at the moment. I think there's been conversations around the you know the difficulties of securing insurance and stuff with places like Gastonbury, but I guess in Europe where maybe things are different, I'm not too sure. There's an opportunity. So what I said earlier still stands. I think if you do want to go out and party, more than likely next year you're probably gonna to have to book a trip to somewhere in Europe to do that. Whenever stuff settles and people open things up, I think places in Europe would be a bit more open to have these rapid testings open and do whatever they may be done. I'm pretty sure places in, but I'm sure is it Russia. Or maybe it was Ukraine. Maybe one of them, right, was open. And they were, you know, people were playing gigs there for the most part. I know a lot of DJs are now going to places like Mexico and Colombia to go and play because they don't really, you know, care, I guess. And the rules are a bit lax. So things are a bit open up there. And I guess they're willing and happy to welcome these international DJs who they probably won't have a chance to book any other time. Um, but I think in terms of being sensible, this is probably the best way to go about things, especially with the vaccine. So hopefully more countries allow you know sexist hospitality to experiment with these um rapid testing so we can get back to some level of normality because i've had enough of watching live streams i could care less and i'm sure you guys are the same but yeah hopefully hopefully soon